What's up everybody, Colby here for another video today. I wanna to start off by saying good morning. I hope you guys are having a great, wonderful day and staying safe out there. But we have another video today actually, it is for another tool review, which you can see over my shoulder a little right there. But let's get into it right now and check it on out. So in this video, we're gonna be checking out the Earthquake XT half inch cordless impact with 1200 foot pounds of breakaway torque. It is a four amp hour battery. It's got the nice black and red with the little work light, the battery with the battery percentage on it. And we're gonna give you a first look at what you get when you open this bad boy. So right off the bat, just like the Earthquake XT 38's cordless ratchet, when you take this bad boy out the box, you have a nice little hard case, nice hard plastic. As you can see, this has a 20 volt lithium battery as the other one has a 12 volt lithium battery and this box is much bigger because obviously the tool is a lot bigger. But let's check out what you get inside of it. So starting out when you open this thing, it's got two click latches. And the first thing you see, the owner's manual, which again, you don't need that. You all know how an impact works. It's pretty self-explanatory, but you get the tool itself. And obviously this is another review as I've used this tool for almost a month now. You can see how dirty it's getting. It won't be this dirty when you get it from the box. You get your 20 volt lithium battery with a nice little battery percentage on top. And you even get, of course, this nice big battery charger with indications stating if it's mid charge, half charge, or something's wrong with the battery, if it's too hot, if it's too cold, I'll tell you all those features right there. So right away, we're gonna take a look at this impact here. We're actually gonna pop the old battery in there. But when you first get this impact, there's actually a bunch of grease down here and on the battery itself. So I might make the battery clicking in a little hard. As you can see, I still gotta kind of smack mine in instead of just sliding in, which I kind of like that because it's a nice, secure, snug fit. And then of course, that sounds very torquey. You get the nice little work light right there. As you can see, we got a full charge battery. It's got three red dots. And of course you got your switches to tighten and to loosen, just like any other impact out there. Now, so far, let's talk about the bad. And really with this impact, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. The only thing I had to say about it which is kind of a nitpicking thing. It's probably because it's still pretty new is I actually have a 19 millimeter socket right here, which is the size for my car, which I do carry with me in case I want to do something to my wheels. But when you put it on, it's kind of a struggle at first to get the socket in and out. Now this 19 is very worn down because I've used it for about three years now, but like a socket, I don't use that much. It's still pretty new. It's kind of, like right here, kind of a fight to get it on, but it's really not that big of a deal. As you can see, that's not going anywhere. It's not gonna fall off or nothing. Now let's go over the good. So that was really the only nitpicking thing I had to say. It's not even really that big of a deal. The good about this impact is I actually got this one on sale, just like I got the last tool on sale. I spent $215 on this because Harbor Freight had a huge store closeout sale, kind of like a parking lot sale, where this thing is normally like $280 ish. It was only $215 for the whole kit. And that's right, this whole thing comes as a kit, and it really has not met a vehicle it cannot take the lug nuts off of. I've done every type of car from German cars to American cars, all being 17 through 21 millimeters. And I've even done big heavy duty trucks like dualies, diesels, and nothing. This thing does not struggle at all to take things off. And when I use it throughout the day, because I work about 10 hour days, it doesn't really deplete the battery like you think it would. I mentioned on the electric ratchet how I keep the battery on the charger constantly throughout the day just because I don't know how much charge is left on it. But this little battery indicator here, I always know how much is left and it hasn't really been going down to two bars at all throughout the whole day. And I use it pretty frequently. And you saw in my Plasti Dip video, me actually using it to take my wheels on and off. I'm gonna demonstrate again how easy and nice this impact is. 
So to demonstrate this impact right here, I'm just gonna be taking a few lug nuts off. Now, these aren't necessarily torqued to a specific torque rating because I just hit them all with the impact. And with this impact, you'll learn that as you're putting the wheels back on, the second it starts clicking, it's good to go. One, two, three. No problem at all. Now, when you sit there and think about the snap-on battery impacts in the Milwaukee's, I've used snap-on, I've used Milwaukee, and what I see at the Milwaukee's is a lot of times, this little holder right here that holds the battery in goes out a lot, or the hammer and the drill actually goes out a lot. Because you got a coworker who's gone through four Milwaukee impacts, and I snap on, I haven't really heard anything good or bad about. They're kind of equal on this level in terms of, you know, they do they get the job done. They don't really have their big problems, but with this right here, it was the cheapest of them, and it just does such a great job. Let's check out putting the lug nuts back on. And now if I take this impact, that click right there, she's good to go. No problem whatsoever. And now the reason I highly recommend this is not only because it gets the job done, not only because it has 1,200 foot-pounds of breakaway torque, not only because they also have a warranty with it she can get at Harbor Freight, but because it is so much cheaper than going and buying a Milwaukee or a Snap-on. As I said in previous videos, I'm a big Harbor Freight fan. I just can't see the point in owning these very expensive tools and owing those guys money. Milwaukee's kind of different because they don't really have a tool truck but like Matco, Snap-on. I just, I can't see myself spending $1,200 on an impact if I can buy this for $200. And that's why I highly recommend this. I mean, I work in a shop, I do this full time. It's not like I'm hardly using it. I use it every day and it just holds up to the test. I've not met a car that this thing cannot do yet. And before we go, coming back to this carrying case, it's the same as the other one. You got another slot here for another battery if you wanna keep another battery in there, which is not a bad idea to buy another battery. And also, as you can see, I carry around my 19 millimeter socket there and it fits perfect. It can go there, it can go there. You can carry multiple sockets in here while you carry this all in this neat little carrying case here, which just is another reason I recommend getting this thing. But that's about it for this video. Let's go out to the outro. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and remember to hit the subscribe button. Again, I wanna see 50 more subscribers by the end of this month. We can do it, you guys. It's April 6th. We can do it. But just like I said, really recommend this impact. It's a really great impact. I love it. I use it every day. If you guys think you have a reason you shouldn't use this, let's have a discussion about it. If you already have it and love it, let's also talk about it. But as always, you guys, peace out.